All right, everybody, I am going to be doing the measure phase in Minitab for discrete data. So we take calls, I, you know, I, I make most of these cases up as we go, or they're reflections of some work I've done with a client. So in this example, we're going to take calls. Uh, we make a uh, engine and we get calls from customers and they make complaints. So the complaint data has come in. Uh, first thing I do is I look at what type of data do I have. Clearly this is discrete. One of the ways I know that is the column is now a text column. Uh, even though I see numbers here, it's discrete data because it cannot be missing screws and missing clips. You also cannot have, you know, 274.275 as an example. So I can come to the chart tool and see what I need to do. I'm in the measure or uh, phase because I just have a Y, I have discrete data, and I can do the Pareto chart. I could also look at uh, the roadmap that I provided. Let me bring that up again. Mini tab roadmap. All right, there you go. So I'll bring that back up. I could also look for the discrete data in the measure phase, and there's the Pareto chart. Now I can calculate sigma uh, first as well. And there's my sigma calculator. So I'll have all this stuff open. The Sigma calculator, I need to know how many opportunities for a defect that we have, and that would be the number of categories uh, that the customers com can complain about. So it looks like we have eight opportunities for a defect. Any engine could have all of these complaints associated with it. So I have eight opportunities for a defect. I need to know how many engines we shipped this year. Let's say it was 5,432, or how many engines have we shipped that are responsible for this uh, sample size? Uh, then I need a total of defects. Uh, Minitab has a calculator. Uh, you can just ask it to calculate col um, column statistics. So I want to get the sum of column C3, and I'm just going to have them store it in C4. Well, I messed up, so I'm just going to say, nope, uh, 423. So we had eight opportunities for a defect. We made that many engines, 423 defects, and the sigma is 3.84. And of course, remember, as a manufacturer, we'd like to be 4.8, but you know, 99% of our um, engines have no complaints, so you know, this might be pretty good in and of itself. You know, I can never decide what a good Sigma is. That's up to the client. Uh, this might be uh, not worth doing a project on. You might prioritize to something else. But anyway, let's let's go into mini tab. Uh, by the way, a quick way to bring up your worksheet, hit Control D, or if you look up here, this has all your active worksheets. If you recall earlier, this is the session folder that shows everything we've done. So the Pareto, you can go a couple places. Let's see what my uh, sheet tells you to do. Uh, Pareto down here is the buzzword. So you can go stat quality tools Pareto. Your words go in the defects. And then if you have it counted, that would go in frequencies. All right, so let's try that. So stat quality tools Pareto. My words are in the column called defects. Uh, counts is my Y. I do not have an X variable. That would be like engine type if you had engine type over here to the side. And it looks like we have, you, I, I never really get the Pareto principle perfectly. You, you know, the Pareto principle is the 80-20 rule where 80% of your problem is made up of one bar. Uh, but in this case, you know, just missing screws alone would fix 64.8% of all our issue. Um, and if you combine that with missing clips, you're almost at the 80-20 rule. And to me, it looks like we have an issue with stuff missing. So missing screws, missing clips, and missing studs. 
and that would probably, what would that get us, 64, 78% add missing studs at 1.9, and that would definitely get us over the 80-20 rule. So I would probably focus on uh, missing stuff. Let me get my calculator out, and we could recalculate sigma just based on missing. So we've got 274 plus... 59 missing clips plus 8, no scrap, 6 missing studs. So 339. Let's go back and look at sigma just for those three. So three opportunities for a defect. And what did we say? 339 defects. So that does bring us down a little bit in terms of sigma. Uh, again, this could be your why, uh, this could be your why, that could be your why, 0.02, uh, and you could just go plug any of those in into the 70% rule. Certainly we would want defects to go down, or we'd want sigma to go up. Let's try the sigma approach again. What is our sigma? 3.54. All right, our current sigma is 3.54 best in class and we would get to that 4.42 all right so one last thing with discrete data uh, let's say that management says that all complaints should be equal like you're in a meeting and one of the managers goes nah they, they complain about everything equally and you go no no I did the Pareto chart and it's uh, it's you know mostly missing stuff and he just doesn't believe you uh, well that is a chi-squared test. And how do I know that? I go to the roadmap. I now have a continuous y, I'm sorry, a discrete y defects and a discrete x, um, which it's a little confusing. The discrete x is I see this, but I expected equal proportions. You know, the manager's just saying the complaints are statistically equal. And that is under stat tables and that would be a chi-squared goodness of fit. Does what I see in this column, which is counts, and the category is defects, does what I see in that column fit what I would expect, which is equal proportions? I don't have much use for the graphs here. I'm going straight to the p-value, and the answer is the hypothesis would be rejected no. Uh, defects or complaints are not equal across the categories. The p-value is less than 0.05. You come up here and look for your chi-squared critical value. Now this number is meaningless to me, but the biggest number, here it is, 924, says that's where the bias is. So we had 274 complaints about missing screws. There should have only been 52 in every category if they were equal. Now remember, if this were 58 missing screws that could statistically be equal to 52 because this is a sample of the population. Uh, a quick example of chi-squared is, uh, let's try this, I saw, all right, we're going to call this heads, tails, and I flipped a, head, a coin a hundred times and got uh, 63 heads and 37 tails, where clearly you expected 50, 50. So does what I see fit what I would expect? So we can hit control E, that brings up the last thing you've done. In this case, I saw is my Y, and I want the categories to be, you don't have to label things in Minitab, uh, as long as you know the column. Again, I expected equal proportions go to my session folder and again the p-value is less than 0.05 I reject the null this coin is not uh, a fair coin there's something going on with it so that is the measure phase for discrete data and I threw in a little hypothesis testing uh, for discrete data as well